What a fantastic location this is for a Stellplatz. This is Piena. This is the Elbe River. I'm going to have to say something about that castle up there in a moment because I don't want to actually spoil the effect of everything immediately. There's the bridge you come across and uh, I knew about this location and I was going to continue on, on my way and then as I came across the bridge I thought, oh that looks really good. I've changed my plan to what it was originally and I'm going to stop here at this place which is up the top here. Now I've been to Piana in the past, indeed I've got friends that live down there. Only I didn't, I wasn't expecting to be here and I didn't bring uh, their, either their number or anything with me. So um, unfortunately, but you can even see um, something I did because I interviewed, uh, there's a couple and I interviewed the lady's mother. Uh, she survived the bombing on Dresden in uh, February 1945 and I did a quite a long interview with us, a couple of hours, but it's on YouTube anyway. So, and uh, coming back onto the subject of motorhomes, look at this, These, this place here, next to the, the river, um, the city centre, okay you're going to have to walk across the bridge and go up there, but the, the centre is really more or less directly in front now. Brilliant. And uh, this location is absolutely superb. And you can see other people are here as well. And not just vehicles from Germany, but there's a couple here from Holland. So, uh, I'm now thinking, oh, we should have come here earlier instead of uh, taking so long. Okay, I left Bamberg quite early this morning. I kept stopping and doing things and not really doing things, and I stopped in a uh, motorway service area and uh, effectively I was playing with the computer well I had internet access and tried responding to people and sort of sending people forward because this sort of stuff and I should have really been getting on with the journey and getting here but I didn't expect it to be this good and you know tomorrow I've got an appointment at nine o'clock and I could have stayed here because Pierna is a really nice place to visit but Bikes along here, absolutely brilliant. What an excellent place. So, I'm going to walk down here. I didn't see any signs indicating where this is but I found it anyway well it was quite easy and straightforward to find and you can see quite clearly campers are welcome the one problem uh -huh, uh -huh, and problems the right word there's no dump it doesn't appear to be one anyway if there is one then great but you can't expect everything and it appears to be free of charge I don't see any signs up wanting payment at all. So, what a brilliant location. Now I'm going to tell you something about this place up here. The Nazi regime had a number of centres for it called euthanasia, which was a murder of people who had either mental problems or physical problems in some way or another. And that up there is one of the places where people were murdered. Uh, mental facilities uh, and uh, so but it wasn't just people who had were educationally su um, actually about subnormal is not the right word but uh, educationally challenged or whatever where people had physical problems as well so as attractive as it looks today uh, that's what happened there and when I was here in um, nine years ago uh, or eight years ago now um, there was um, a number of places in the centre of Piano saying that people uh, didn't realise uh, what happened here and a uh, number of signs actually explaining what happened here during the National Socialist uh, regime. So anyway, uh, I 
haven't done anything on that subject, but I, I may do. I did film the, uh, um, the hosp psychiatric hospital of Hadamar, uh, also in 2010. Right, back onto motorhomes, and maybe I should get my bike out, and uh, I don't know what to do. Such a choice. Uh, or, or go and watch the World Cup somewhere. There. Anyway. Great, eh? If only I could stay here longer. I messed that one up. Oh, look at that for my American viewers. There's a road trek van. I've never seen one on the road in Europe. I've seen the exhibitions, never seen one on the road before.